Hello students, today we will discuss about the pharmacognostic profile of benzoin and gugul which comes under the category of resins containing drug. In previous semester you have been studied about the introductions of phytoconstituents. Now in this semester we will discuss about the drugs uh, which belongs to that uh, category of the phytoconstituents. So today we are going to start the drugs containing resins and so we will study about the pharmacognosy of the benzoin and cogol. So first drug is benzoin which is commonly known as the benzonium or Sumatra benzoin or we can say Loban and it is the balsamic resins which is obtained from the Styrax benzoin's dry, dryads or Styrax parallelonurus perkins and it is these species is commonly known as the Sumatra benzoin. Styrax benzoin or Styrax paralelonurus is commonly known as the Sumatra benzoin whereas another species is the Styrax tonkinasis tonki, uh, which is known as the Sham benzoin and this Styrax is belong to the family Styraceae. So we can say that there are two varieties of uh, benzoins. First one is the Sumatra benzoin and second one is the Sham benzoin. The botanical name of Sham benzoin is the Styrax tonkinasis whereas the name botanical name of Sumatra benzoin is Styrax benzoins dryads or Styrax parallelonurus perkins. And if we talk about the geographical sources of this drug, so it is indigenous to southeastern Asia and Sumatra benzoin is generally cultivated in Sumatra islands, Malacca, Malaya, Java and Borneo whereas Sham benzoin cultivated in Thailand and Vietnam and uh, these are the collections of preparation so um, uh, the plants of uh, benzoins not grow in india it is actually imported from the indonesia so benzoin is the pathological resins which can be collected by making the incisions at the base of the plants so you can see that uh, this resins formation is there and uh, this resins formed um, at the cavity which is known as the cytogenous cavity or we can say the cytogenolysis cavity okay cytogenolysis uh, cavities or cytogenolysis cavities from these resins formed and uh, this may be collected by making the incisions in such a way that we can fix uh, also some containers in which the resins can be collected and uh, for the collections the plant should be at least six year old plant should be there for the collections of the resins and initially it excrete the yellow colored exudates which uh, contain no medicinal value so that should not be collected then um, after completions of this yellowish exudates the another exudates coming out should be collected followed by the drying under the sunlight and if we talk about the yield of uh, each tree so annually one tree can yield 10 kilograms of benzoin approximately and uh, if we compare the descriptions of Sumatra benzoins and Sham benzoin so color of Sumatra benzoin is grayish brown to gray whereas Sham benzoin color is yellowish brown to rusty browns order is aromatic and characteristics in case of Sumatra benzoin whereas it is agreeable and vanilla like in case of Sham benzoin taste is sweet is slightly acrid in case of Sham benzoin it is also sweet and acrid and Sumatra benzoins occur in the form of lumps of various size or in the forms of the tears and these tears are externally yellow, yellow in color milky white and the surface is uneven when heated fumes of benzoic, as, benzoic acids and cinnamic acids are produced okay so whenever we will heat the Sumatra benzoin it will give the fumes of the benzoic acids and cinnamic acids whereas sham benzoins occur as a hard brittle masses and when heated it is softened and becomes the plastic and uh, the benzoic acid content 
in case of sumatra banjan should be not less than 60% whereas in case of sham banjan it should be not less than 12% where and alcohol soluble matter in sumatra banjan is not less than 76% whereas in case of sham banjan it should be not less than 90% now the chemical constituents so sumatra benzoin contain the balsamic acids which is composed of the benzoic acids and cinnamic acids okay balsamic acid is the compositions of the benzoic acids and cinnamic acids and uh, esters derived from them so here we written here that sumatra benzoin contain free balsamic acids benzoic acids and cinnamic acid and esters derived from them and it also contain the triterpenoid acids such as suma resinolic acids and ca resinolic acids and whereas in case of sham benzoin major active constituent is the coniferyl benzoate which is an esters and uh, the concentrations of this coniferyl benzoates may be up to 76% and sham benzoins differ from sumatra variety particularly in the concentrations of the cinnamic acids mm -hmm. and in case of sham benzoin cinnamic acid is very less so uh, this cinnamic acid is responsible for the order of benzylity height uh, when it is heated with the potassium permanganate solution so so that is the reasons why sham benzoins not give the order of benzylity height on heating with potassium permanganate whereas sumatra benzoin give the uh, this order so because of this cinnamic acid which is not present in sham benzoin or we can say it is present in very less amount in compared to the sumatra benzoins and other phytoconstituents like styrols vanillin phenyl propyl cinnamates may also be present in the drug and uh, these are the chemical tested in first test we will take the alcoholic solutions of benzoin and it will treat with the water so it will form the milky white color and in another test if we take the benzoin in a test tube followed by heating and this test tube should be closed with the help of glass rod uh, glass slide sorry sorry with the help of glass slide uh, followed by the observations of this glass slide under the microscope so we can observe the crystals of cinnamic acids another test is if it add few drops of sulfuric acid in the benzoin solution so dark brown color will obtain in case of sumatra benzoin whereas dark purple color is obtained in case of sham benzoin and last test is when potassium permanganate is treated with the benzoin followed by heating so there will be the order of benzaldehyde in case of sumatra benzoin whereas no order in case of sham benzoin as we already discussed in the chemical constituent that uh, this smell is because of the cinnamic acids which is not present in the sham benzoin so this test is negative for the sham benzoin and if we talk about the uses of the drug so it is commonly used as an irritant expectorant carminative and diuretic externally it is used as antiseptic and protective and it is also used in the form of tincture of benzoin as and as an inhalations in the treatment of upper respiratory tract infections and it is preferred to related uh, sorry to reduce the rancidity of the fat and oils in the preparations of the benzoated lard and in industry it is used to fix the order of some cosmetics like incense soaps perfumes and to mask the taste of some pharmaceutical preparation so it is all about the benzoin drugs now next drug is the google which is commonly known as the synthate bdelium or we can say comifora vt and biologically it consists oleogum resins which is obtained from comifora mucul which is belong to family bursiraceae and geographically it is native to africa in india it is commonly cultivated in the rajasthan haryana and gujarat and if we talk about the cultivations and collections so sandy loam soil uh, with the gypsum content should be uh, prefer for the cultivations of these drugs and the ph of the soil should be 7.5 to 9 
and uh, this plant can be propagated either by the seed and, or by the stem cutting method so both methods can be used for the propagations seed methods may also be used as well as stem cutting methods can also be used and these seeds should be collected during july to september whereas if we want to plant by stem cutting so we should follow the process during either in the month of june or during october to november and uh, resins can be collected by making the incisions on the stems and the age of the plant at the time of collections of resin should be five years so we can say that the plant should be at least five years old when we want to collect resins from particular plant and uh, these trees ex exudes a yellow yellow color resins which is known as the gum gugul or gugulu and uh, it has a balsamic order so each plants can yield ab about one kilogram of the product annually which is collected in the cold seasons and during the seasons of winter we can collect the resins and annually we can say that each plants can yield one kilograms of the google then if we talk about the macroscopic descriptions of the drug so it is pale yellow or brown in color order is agreeable aromatic or balsamic taste is characteristics bitter size 0.5 to 1 to 2.5 centimeter in diameter it is uh, round or irregular mass or agglomerated tears tears are transparent with the waxy surface and brittle in nature and it is sticky to touch partially soluble in alcohol and with water on triturations it form the emulsion and these are the chemical constituents so google styrone z and e is the major active constituents it contain resins gums volatile oils other constituents are lignin lipids diterpenes steroids google styrols first second third fourth and mucolol myricyl alcohol beta cetoesterol quercetin linoleic acid stearic acid palmitic acids are also present and uh, volatile oils like myrcene dimyrcene caryophyllins are also present and you can see the structures of google styrone jet and google styrol first and uh, if we see that google contain therapeutically active steroids as shown under oleo gums resin when we will heat this oleo gum resin at a temperature 120 to 130 degrees celsius with hot ethyl acetate so two fractions we will obtain first one will be resins and second one is the gum gum is the insoluble portions and it may be approximately 60 percent whereas resin is the soluble portions and it may be up to 30 percent and this resins may be acidic or neutral so acidic fractions of resins is useful as an anti-inflammatory agent whereas neutral fractions may be non-ketonic part and ketonic part so non-ketonic part is 88 percent whereas ketonic part is 12 percent and this google styrone z and e is comes under the ketonic part which is 12 percent and hypolipidemic activity and hypocholesteremic activity is because of this z and e google styrones so it is all about the chemical constituents of google then if we talk about the some standards of this drugs for origin matter should be not more than five percent moisture content not more than eight percent total as not more than 13 percent acid insoluble as not more than four percent alcohol soluble extractive value not less than 21 percent water soluble extractive value is not less than 37 percent total volatile oil not less than one percent and uh, it is the identification test of the drug so we will take the 10 gram of the drug sample and we will treat with the hot water so milky emulsions will obtain because of the gum resins and if we talk about the usage of this drug so anti-inflammatory and hypolipidemic activity is has been reported for this drug 
so it is all about the uh, benjoin and uh, google drugs so thank you very much for watching video